Hello there, welcome to Studio Ness. Okay, so what is going on here? My wife, Nessence, is a painter. So check out, you know, all of her beautiful artwork is in here. Um, and pretty much her old studio setup was getting a little stale if I'm being honest. So I hatched a brilliant idea to help out my wife and myself at the same time, marriage, unity. Pretty much I decided to completely sort of remodel her room and turn it into like a studio B for me and like a cozy home office slash art studio for her. So we're gonna do this MTV Crib style and I'm just gonna walk you around and show you the thing. So first and foremost, I wanna give a huge shout out to Uplift. Uplift sent me this desk. It's a standing desk. It has all these functions similar to the one that I have in my studio. If you remember seeing my last studio tour video. It's a beautiful desk. I believe it's like 60 inches sturdy wood. Uh, they also sent us this chair as well. What else did they send us? They sent us this drawer, this little storage drawer, which is sick, and a bunch of other things, a bunch of other goodies. So shout out to Uplift. Link is in the description. Go get yourself a desk. I have a desk from them in my studio that I paid for. This was gifted to me, but I paid for my last one, so I reached out and let them know what I was doing, and they were kind enough to send this over. Cable management, let's get down here. This is what I love about standing desks. We got some smart features under the hood. All the cables are in this thing that comes with the desk from Uplift. And then we also have everything plugged in to this smart switch. So whenever we leave out of here, hey Siri, turn off Studio Ness. Boom, the desk turns off, all the lights turn off and everything, which is, uh, no, oh wait, we don't have anything going. That's fine. But now, as you notice, we won't be able to. Yeah, okay. Another cool thing about this is you have these numbers. So one, I have it to the sitting position, four is standing. And we also have a treadmill in the closet. So a lot of times in the mornings, if I'm trying to get a little workout in, I'll come in here on her computer, put the treadmill here, go for a little walk while I'm checking emails or editing videos or something like that. Next on the list is this beautiful iMac. All right, this is something when these colorful iMacs came out, I really wanted them, but I had no use for them. So I got this for my wife, you know what I'm saying? So she can do her little doodads, her little workity works and all that kind of stuff. It's green, it's beautiful, comes with a matching keyboard with the Touch ID on it. I've been doing a little bit of light editing on it. I haven't put any plugins or anything like that, but I have used Ableton on it and it runs pretty smooth. It's like the very base of base model, pretty dope. Next up, we have the Newman Studio Monitors. Um, I originally got these as travel monitors because they're so cute and tiny, but they actually work great with the vibes of this room and it's small small room sounds great and that is all running into the computer or the ableton push through this mini fuse 2 by arturia nice cute little interface sounds really good shout out to arturia they sent me that a while ago all right so on to why i decided to make this a studio b not only did i just want another room to shoot in like i'm a big fan of mkbhd and he has all these different rooms that he shoots in, and I think that's sick. When I got the Ableton Push 3, it's standalone, remember? And setting it up, honestly, to do videos was a nightmare. Setting up the top-down shot, setting up the audio, everything was a nightmare because it kind of interfered with my current setup. So now I'm looking at this more of like a hardware room, you know what I'm saying? So boom, we got the Push 3 here. At any moment, I can unplug the monitors from the computer, plug it into my Push 3, work on music and check this out, get a little closer on this. I had this shelf installed for the sole purpose of attaching this thing to it. So now I can get, it's a photo right now. I'll put the photo up, but it's, earlier was a video. I don't really feel like, it, it's kind of, it's a bit of a hassle still, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, um, pretty much now, whenever I wanna do videos on the push or something that I know I want some top down shots, I'll just do the videos in here because it's way simpler to just Put that up there, stick the phone on it, plug things where they need to be plugged in, and now this is the setup. But yeah, super functional. That's what this place is about. And uh, I have this light here right here on a light stand because one thing you may notice about this room, I don't know if you can tell by the audio quality, but 
there is not even any acoustic panels you know what i'm saying we're just kind of roughing it it's really just about the vibes so studio panels would have killed the vibe um having a light attached to the desk at all times would have killed the vibe having this attached to the desk at all time would have killed the vibe so yeah on to the vibes let's talk about some decor things so we went with a very light natural and green look check out this cute little rug um, you know, a little plants, you know, we haven't fully decorated yet. There might be some stuff up there at some point. I don't know. Come over here. We have, uh, you know, this is unfinished art, but it's kind of built in art. You know what I'm saying? Turn around here. Cozy season. This was a big sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? We could have got like a record stand or some other musical functional thing, but we got a couch, bro. A comfortable couch. We could have got some nice aesthetic. No comfort and then check out this this is something wifey's wanted her whole life um so yeah we got these flo floating bookshelves i just bought so many books to try to fill this up but we still couldn't so we mixed it up with some decor but um yeah that'll be filled with books soon probably get some more plants but low key, that's kind of it. I hope this video wasn't five seconds. All right, so we're at the desk. This is probably the angle you will see most often when I'm in this room. But yeah, again, shout out to Uplift. Thank you for sending all this. Shout out to you for watching. Shout out to Wifey for all this. Once everything's finished up, it should be really sick in here. But remember at the end of the day, all you need is a laptop and some dreams. You don't uh, need two studios is what I was trying to say. I don't know, I was just trying to come up with some kind of sentimental ending to this. But yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions for this room, maybe for the acoustics that doesn't make it ugly. Uh, let me know. Catch you in the next video, peace.